guys, this is my exam from a brand new video for you guys. So today's video is my January favourite. It's the end of the month. How strange is that? Like it's gone so fast, like it's unbelievable. So I've got a lot of things to show you from this month. It's the first month of the year. I'm very excited to show you what's in my favourite. Um there is one, two, three, four, five categories. There's makeup, skincare, random clothes and book and music. So let's get on to it okay so the first thing i'm going to do is makeup i have two makeup items to show you they're both to do with eyelashes <laughs> the first one is this mascara this is the maybelline new york lash sensational lash multiplying mascara i always thought this like obviously it's been a hype like it's been a, like a big thing for a while but um it kind of went down for a bit and i was like it, when it was a hype i was like oh it won't be that good like it, all these youtubers are just lying you know like whatever um and then my mum got it in an advent calendar and she doesn't really wear mascara um she swaps it with one of mine that she really likes so i tried it and oh my god this is the best mas i l no joke like i have very long eyelashes i have very curly eyelashes so my eyes is like the perfect eyelashes anyway they just don't look long because of how they're not very black um they're quite brownish so they're not they don't look as long um however because this is really black and i don't know the formula is just amazing and it makes them look so good like unbelievable i will try to find a before and after picture i'm sure i took one at one point this is a brush i use it so this bent thing is up my eyelashes um but yeah this is the best mascara you will ever get no joke please go and buy this right now or after watching this video and i love fake eyelashes and literally every time i wear eyelashes they always the same ones and people are like which ones are you wearing they're the gw weight london ones and they're these glamour lashes look like this right now i'm not wearing any eyelashes they're just lash extensions so i can't really wear these right now but i literally have been wearing these all january all december all november any lashes i wear they're definitely to use these are from Primark, they're literally £3, the glue is amazing, like it's the best glue I've ever used, but they're just really nice, and the way they spread out, they're really natural, like you can't really see them because of the light, but there we go, yeah, and I literally use mine up 30 times and they're still fine, like as long as you clean them and like brush them out regularly, they're absolutely fine. Okay, so the next category is skincare, I have quite a few things for skincare, so I'm going to get right into it because it's going to take a while. So the first thing isn't really, well it is, it's skincare. It's the Reach for the Moon Hand Cream by Zoella. Um, I got this in <laughs> um, Boxing Day sales, but I never, I never, I never really used it in December and I started using it in January and it's so much better formula than the other ones she's done. Like literally it dries so fast, which I really love. Like I don't like a hand cream that like lingers on your hands for like an hour. Okay, so then I tried this plain Vaseline, like look at this. That's not just from January, I've had this for ages. But this is the best, like, it, you can use Vaseline for anything. Like, show it in your bag at school. You have dry knees, in PE, put Vaseline on it. Dry elbows, Vaseline. Dry face, Vaseline. Dry lips, <laughs> Vaseline. Dry anywhere, Vaseline. Literally, Vaseline is the best thing. Like, it's so good. Like, I don't understand people that don't like it. Like, it's amazing. It's unflavoured, so you don't, you don't, because obviously sometimes I wear lip balms and you get so used to the taste that you just get bored of it. But it hasn't got a taste, so it's like the best thing ever. And it's not too greasy and it's not too sticky, it's just normal. So I love Vaseline. Okay, so the next thing is this. I had a Primark version of this, it was like grey and black. And it was in my October favourites, either October or November favourites. Maybe September favourites. Yeah, I think it might have been my September or October favourites. Um, but literally I promise you this one is so much better this one it was a bit more money the, other, the Primark one was a pound this one was four and it was from TK Maxx so everything's cheap at TK Maxx um, this on one end it's like a brush and it has like indentations and stuff and it's really nice and soft obviously you can tell it's softer than the Primark one the Primark one was very sharp and kind of bristly but it did the job and then this side's like bumpy but like silicone it's oh i was gonna rub it on my face then that's not a good idea 
This is just a really nice, like you put, you wet your face, you clean your face with just water and then put your cleanser on and then brush it around with this and then use this in all your dry spots to get off the dead skin. It, I promise you, get one of these if you have really bad skin. This will change your life. I don't have, I don't really have any spots, but I've been getting really dry areas lately and I literally scrub it with this side and it's off. Like it's amazing. No light. Literally, go on eBay and get one. I promise you, you will not regret it. Okay, so this month, literally, one of my skincare favourites is the brand Dead Sea Collection. It looks like this. Um, I've been using their product for about a month and a half, maybe two months. And I have the soap, I have the oils, I have the salt scrub, but in different flavours and stuff. Flavours? In different scents and stuff. And it is amazing. If you have dry skin, please go and invest in the Dead Sea Collection set all of them every flavor everything literally they're amazing but the two that are my most favorite this month are this which is the himalayan salt scrub and um, i have the coconut salt scrub but this one is it's basically the same concept like it's salt with like oil in it and it's just dropped on the floor great um but the thing i like about this i don't really like bubblegum scents but this smells exactly like Lucky Snow Fairy. I wish I was gonna go like that for you to smell it then, but there's hairs all over it because it's been in my bathroom. But I, oh, and it's on my face. <laughs> Smells exactly like Snow Fairy from Lush. So if you love Snow Fairy from Lush, get the Himalayan Salt Scrub. It doesn't really have a scent on it. It just says it is Himalayan Salt Scrub. It's it's pink. It's amazing. Mm, it smells like bubblegum, but I don't really like the bubblegum scent, but this is just amazing, like on another level. Plus the salt scrubs are really good anyway, like I use the coconut one all the time, so if you don't really like the smell of bubblegum, go and get the coconut one, that's amazing. And then the next thing is the Lavender Reviving and Calming Body Oil. I also have the coconut one, but I've not really used that one yet. This one I like because one, look how much you get in it. Two, look how, how long the wand is. And it's a dropper. Third of all, it's lavender. Lavender is my favourite scent. I've been trying a lot of things lately to try and send me to sleep quicker because I swear I'm an insomniac. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, I just can't sleep very fast. Like if I want to sleep, I said this in a vlog recently, but if I want to sleep, I can't go to sleep. But if I don't want to sleep, then I'll fall asleep. Like it's just kind of how things work. And it's funny because I bet you'll say like, oh, well, just pretend you don't want to go to sleep. But it doesn't work like that. Like, um. But this is amazing. I I got in the bath on Sunday and I use this all over my body. I love it. It's got rid of my eczema on my arms. Love that. And then I heard it was like body and I was like, mm, do I put it on my face? And I've been literally dropping it on my face. And I promise you, it is the most amazing thing for dry skin. Literally, I put a drop on my head, like up here. You know like you do on your scammer, like. Yeah, and then I rub it in. I promise you, if you have really dry skin on your face, or even your body, this is amazing. The first thing I've been really liking is this jumper from This Little Thing. It says Media AF on it with a full stop. And it's white, and I got it in a small because I wanted it oversized. Um, I'm five foot, by the way, and it's like long on me and big. So if you're over five foot, I recommend getting a medium. Um, <clears throat> it's just amazing. I, I showed it in my haul. I showed it in my first little thing haul um, it's just really nice and comfy like inside is so soft it's really nice like it's well made as well like these are 18 pounds each I think a few are on offer so if you go on the website right now they're probably about 15 13 I think don't quote me on that yeah this is my favorite then my next clothes favorite is this yes it's white again it's a coat jacket thing it's a little it's just a white bubble coat um, and I've been really liking bubble coats lately. It's from Quiz. It's size 10 and it was £50 on offer for 20 Caitlin got makeup all over it. So, love that. But, like, look at that. It's just... It's going in the wash tonight anyway. But I'm going to try it on for you. Mm. It's just really nice to, like, whatever, like, it's a high neck, like... It's just nice and comfy. It's got nice pockets. Like, it's just really, it's it makes you really warm. And in winter, 
you need some open mate balm so this is my second one's car i have this one the black one my black one's from primark um, this is much better quality than the Primark one because it was more expensive but um, the Primark ones are still quite expensive for what they are so before you buy a Primark one I do recommend looking around for different ones because if I'd have found this before the Primark one I wouldn't have got it I wouldn't have got the Primark one so yeah um, I have no summer coats now <laughs> no I'm joking idea I have one summer coat and two winter coats but I'm really happy that I bought this it was a really nice investment it wasn't an investment it was expensive but you know, like, I really liked it. Quids do really nice coats. Like, I was looking at the coat rack and I was like, geez, these are nice. Like, they do really nice teddy bear coats. But yeah, I don't want one of them. <laughs> it needs to go in the wash, so. Okay, so now I'm going to do random. I wish I had one thing for the random ones. My world's about though. This is a thermo water bottle. It's not a water bottle. You can put anything in it. It basically keeps warm and cold drinks warm and cold for up to eight hours. So it's amazing because if you put cold water in it at the start of the day, it'll keep it cold all the way through to the end of the day, depending on how long your days are. I have like seven, six, seven hours school days, so it keeps it cold the whole way through that. But I usually drink like two, three of these at school, so this is amazing. I do, Garrett, I do recommend you get one of these, so get one please you will not regret it you can put hot like tea in here you can put hot chocolate coffee flavored tea water cordial alcohol okay moving on so my last favorite is music and books so the book i read this month i'm halfway through another one i literally read this in a week it was that good is the dear evan hansen book i love this so so much like Um, basically, Dear Evan Hansen is a musical, and I've never watched a musical, so I was like, I need to read the book before I watch the musical, like, come on. Um, um, I'll read you the blurb. I got this for Christmas. A letter he never meant to write, a lie he never meant to tell, a life he never dreamed he could have. Evan Hansen's about to get the one thing he's always wanted, a chance to finally touch him. Um, and then this one, it's turned my favourite musical of the month. Yes, I'm going to do that. Um, so my favourite musical this month is Dear Evan Hansen. I literally listen to the soundtrack straight after I finish reading it. Sorry, my sister's like washing her hair, I think. Um, I literally listen to the soundtrack straight after reading it. And the soundtrack makes so much more sense when you read the book. I promise you, like, if you don't want to watch the music, if you're not watching the musical yet, but you want to go and watch it, please read the book first and then listen to the music because you will get it so much more. I'm going to beg my mum and dad for tickets now. So mum and dad, if you're watching, do not get them for our birthday. <laughs> Jokes. Okay, I forgot about one random favourite, so I'm just going to slide that in there. Um, I've been really liking my Alexa. Yeah, I'll set her off. Um, I've been really liking my Alexa this month. It's amazing. I Please go and get one. Even if it's just a mini one, like I literally have the mini Echo Dot. It's so easy, like it, you can set alarms on it. If you wake up in the morning, you can just be like, Alexa, what time is it? And it'll tell you. Obviously it's not now because I'm not speaking loud now. <laughs> and if you get the Alexa Plus, it can turn off lamps, your TV, like stuff like that. It's amazing. If you get the Alexa Light Bulbs, it can turn your light off for you. So you can literally be like, Alexa, turn off my light. And it'll turn off your light. Like that's amazing. I don't have them though, so. Also, if you connect it to your Amazon in I didn't find the device name, my light might now fail. Thanks. Connect it to your Amazon Music account. You can also play playlists on it and play any music on there. So I do, if you get one, you can attach it to Spotify unless you have Spotify Premium. So just get Amazon Music instead of Spotify because it's just as good. If not better, you can get more songs on Amazon Music. Just saying. Um, but this isn't sponsored, so yeah. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please get a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, comment down below what videos you would like in the future because I would really like to know. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye!